What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for the continued support, supporting my very own project right here. Thank you. Uh, we're going to break down Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Great Travis picking, finger picking thing. You'd be surprised, it's not as hard as you think. I'm going to break it down for you right now. So let's do it. All right, so this song uses what's called Travis picking, which is where, like on a C chord, you'd have your thumb playing kind of like the bass line. And I'm going to show that to you, uh, but let's start with the chords of the main part. We start with the C chord and the capo on the third fret. Then ring finger comes off, middle finger moves up to the second of the A string, pinky or ring finger, I'm using my pinky, on the third of the B. So my index finger, you're not hearing that, but I'm just keeping it there because the next chord is A minor. So I just plant it there and not worry about it. So C, middle finger goes up, pinky goes to the third of the B. And that's a G, it's a type of G chord. It's G slash B. Then pinky comes off, middle finger moves back, and now you have A minor seven. Then right back to the G over B, and then right back to C. Yeah. <laughs> you get the idea? So that part of it, even if you're a beginner, the chords aren't too hard. And then there's one other section, which we'll call the chorus, and that goes into the kind of D, I'm um, G walk down E minor thing. But let's, let's stick with this Travis picking thing now with these chords, because once you get the kind of idea of Travis picking, when we go to the other sections, the right hand picking, the concept's the same. So we're gonna start with the C chord. And in the beginning, there's like one less note, and then uh, later on in the song, there's an extra note, but the pattern is the same. So check it out. Thumb on the A string, index on the G. Then middle finger on the D. And then middle finger on the B string. And that is your Travis picking pattern. And the trick is to do it, practice it super slow. and then speed it up. So the good news is on that second chord, you don't have to learn any new pattern, but here's, uh, here's what I mean by one note less. So the pattern goes all the way through until that uh, D string, so watch. A, G, D, B, A, G, D. So it doesn't go to that final B there. And this is just kind of the first verse, and then it builds up, so. Exact same thing on that second chord. Exact same thing on the A minor seven. Exact same thing, back up. And again. It sounds real nice when you speed it up, so here it is one more time, slow it down. New 
chord. It's really just those two. And something that happens after she goes through two times, like two full verses in that beginning, there's just this little hold on the A minor like this. So it just holds on that A minor longer, then hits that note up again, so. a way to kind of break up the, you know, break up the uh, pattern. You know, that kind of thing. Now the chorus, it goes from an A minor chord to now a new chord, which is going to be a D with the F sharp in the bass. I'm not really playing the high E, but you know, it's third, uh, you know, third, second, third, but the thumb on the second fret of the E. Now, the Travis picking pattern is the exact same as what we did for C, but now that our root is on the E string instead of the A string, everything's the same except the first note we hit. So for this chord, as well as G, and as well as E minor, which all have the root on this E string, the Travis picking pattern, for instance, D over F sharp, you hit E string, and then everything else is the same, E, G, D, B. Okay, the other thing and this goes for the, the G and the E minor that I'm about to show you. Instead of picking the B string anytime you want with your middle finger, you can just substitute the high E string instead of the B string. But the pa think of the pattern as the same, like uh, this. You can do that anytime. because we're gonna go to G and it's gonna do that. But the cool thing is if you played the original where it's on the B string, you're fine. It sounds beautiful. But I'm here, you know, he hits up on that high E there. So the G chord would be E, uh, E, G, D, E, or B. So let me show it to you back from the main section. And then we go to this A minor seven. And then now we go to the D over F sharp. Same pattern. Now we go to G. To the D over F sharp. to E minor for twice as long, and then C, walk down just like the other uh, part. But instead of climbing back up on this first one, it just repeats and goes back to again, G, D over F sharp, E minor, C walk down to A again, but now A minor, now we're back in the verse. So, and this, and now it's adding, now when it gets back in, it's now added that extra B in that pattern like this now. 
the only difference. Now, in the beginning, it goes. So in the beginning, there's that one note away, the one note that's taken out of the pattern. Whereas now we're going an extra one. Yeah. You know? okay. All right, let's do it one more time uh, from the verse into the chorus. So C. Go and then G, D over F sharp, E minor for twice as long, and then C down to A minor. But now we go back to that G again, D over F sharp. E minor, C, walk down, A minor, stay there, now we're back. Thanks again, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and got something from the lesson. I also really appreciate you signing my newsletter at Marty Music. So thank you so much for that. Can't wait to see you again real soon. See you later. Cost close to nothing. <laughs>